In this big tractor power video, we're going to spend some time out in an east central Wisconsin cornfield with an Agco Gleaner S68 combine harvesting corn in the snow. This is less than ideal conditions to harvest corn, but when you're reaching the end of the season and you need to get the crop out, sometimes you just have to keep on going and push the envelope to get the crop in the bin. Harvesting corn in the snow can be a challenging process, not because of the inclement weather outside, but because of what the snow does to the inside of the combine. Inside the machine, there is a rotor that separates the grain from the plant material. It sits inside a perforated cage, and as that rotor spins around, it drops the corn out through the perforations, and it heads into the grain bin of the combine, and the rest of the plant material is spit out the back of the combine. As snow moves in with that crop material it will start sticking to the perforations of the rotor cage and then it will start to catch bees wings from the corn as well as silks from the cob and other dust and materials and that makes a pretty sticky mess inside the combine and eventually it will completely plug the rotor and corn will start going out the back with the plant material and the only way to fix that is is to put the combine in the shop overnight and let the snow and the rest of the mess melt out. Also, the field is a little bit sticky, and in order to get across it to pick the corn, the farm has equipped the S68 Gleaner with tracks, which help give it a little bit of extra traction to get out there and get the corn harvested. The Gleaner S68 Combine was manufactured by Agco at its Heston, Kansas facility from 2014 through 2015. It's a Class 6 Combine based on its horsepower rating, powered by an 8.4 liter twin turbo six cylinder Agco power engine, rated at 322 horsepower, with a maximum horsepower boost up to 398 in tough harvesting conditions. The combine in this video is equipped with a Harvest Tech Coronado 6030 6C six row 30 inch corn head. You might have noticed the combine's cab access ladder sticking out horizontally above the crop. The ladder is hydraulically adjustable from inside the cab and the operator can put it in a down, up, or horizontal position to meet the demands of the crop being harvested. Even though the Gleaner S68 combine is a class six machine with its 322 engine horsepower rating. It weighs in at 31,920 pounds, not far off from the class 7 and 8 machines that weigh in at 32,220 pounds. It has the same 390 bushel grain bin that is found on the class 7 Gleaner S78 rated at 375 horsepower and the Class 8 S88 Gleaner Combine with a 430 horsepower rating. All three of these combines can unload that big 390 bushel grain bin at four bushels per second.
As we watch the Agco Gleaner S68 Combine harvesting corn in the snow, we can look across the road to see the same farm working on fall tillage in the snow with a 215 PTO horsepower Agco Alice 9815 tractor. It's pulling a five shank DMI mulch ripper. This tillage tool accomplishes several things as it works its way across the field. Most importantly, it helps break up compaction. The weight of the combine harvesting the crop really compresses the soil and compressed soil will limit the growth of the plant's roots in the next growing season and will not allow it to soak up the moisture and the nutrients necessary to produce a good yield. The mulch ripper also helps in the decaying process of the plant material left over from the harvest. It mixes and buries that material underneath the soil, and then during the winter months, that crop material breaks down and decays, allowing for a cleaner seed bed in the spring. Also, tillage allows the field to warm up sooner in the spring when that sun comes out and the field begins to thaw. It really soaks up the heat and gets that seed bed ready to go as early as possible to put the new crop in the ground. Completing fall harvest and tillage in wet, snowy conditions is not ideal, but sometimes you just have to go out and complete the job. And that's what we can see here. It's so crucial to get the crop off and out of the way and be able to work up the ground in the fall so that you have three or four months of snowfall coming down on the field and using that snow to mellow out the plowed up ground. That way in the spring, when the secondary tillage pass is made with a field cultivator or a soil finisher, all that implement is doing is just leveling out the seed bed. It's really not having to work up the ground that much. It's just completing a good, firm, healthy seed bed. Then when the planter follows in behind, it's making great contact with the soil and getting that seed right into the ground. If tillage has to be completed in the spring, that corn planter is going to be contending with rougher ground, lots more clods of dirt and plant material still on the field, and that will not allow the seeds to make as even an emergence out in the field because the planter was not able to put them as evenly down into the ground. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and seeing the Gleaner Combine harvesting corn in the snow and learning a little bit about why it's important to harvest the crop even when conditions are not perfect. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you.